Okay, uh, one more example. This is actually number two uh, from your assignment. So if you want to jot this down on your paper, um, obviously you are more than welcome to. So this is number two from your paper. So we've got the absolute value of negative 9v is less than 54. Okay, so again, our first step is to isolate our absolute value expression, which it's already done for us. Okay, my absolute value is already by itself, so now I just need to split it up into two different inequalities. So I'll have negative 9v is less than or equal to 54, so the original. And then I'll also have negative 9v. Now remember, we've got to use negative 54, but when we make that 54 negative, our symbol has to flip around. So it'll be greater than or equal to. Okay, so two things are happening. 54 is becoming negative and our symbol is flipping around. So now I've got my two inequalities. Okay, I'm looking to get the V by itself. So I'm going to divide by negative 9 on each side. Okay, so I end up with V. A positive 54 divided by a negative 9 is a negative 6. Right here, I divided by a negative. Okay, this goes way back to algebra. If you divide or multiply, so if you multiply or divide by a negative number, your symbol has to flip around. Okay, I'll say that again. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, doesn't matter what this 54 is. It only matters what you divide by. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, this symbol has to flip around. Okay? So instead of a less than, we're going to have V is greater than or equal to a negative 6. Okay? So that was my first answer. I've got my second answer over here again, my same next step. I'm going to get the V by itself by dividing by negative 9. So V, a negative 54 divided by a negative 9, negative divided by a negative is a positive 6. Again, I divide it by, you multiply or divide by a negative, your symbol is going to turn around. So it's going to become less than or equal to. Okay. So same first step, isolate your absolute value expression. You're going to split it into two separate equations. Okay, the difference with this is you have an inequality. So when you set it equal to the, to the negative, you've got to flip that symbol around. Okay, and then another one more thing to keep in mind. If you ever divide, ever divide or multiply by a negative, you've got to flip the symbol around. Okay, I'll make a little note of that here. So if you multiply or divide by a negative, flip your inequality. Okay, so only two changes are happening from the original absolute value equations. First one, when we split it up, um, when you make that negative, your symbol flips around. Symbol also might flip around if you multiply or divide by a negative, okay? Only two differences.